one thing. One thing? No. no. New, what? One of our Something more recent than that, man. Yeah, what? Need you tonight? This is our new video from our new album. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. That's it. See? And watch out for the rat at the beginning of the clip. It's called Plague. It's cute. Bye. And it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> We gotta go. Superstitious, yes. Yeah. I always put my left boot on first. Serious? Yeah. Always. I put it on the right foot once, I had a really great time. <laughs> I'll never do that again. Did you know that all lead singers yeah. are blind and smoke cigarettes? Don't Can't see the audience, I have no idea. What, you know, this is all sort of abstract concept to me, but it's theory. It's absolute theory because. I actually can't see more than about 10 foot. So, I haven't seen more than 10 foot since about, ooh, 78. Have you started smoking? Hmm? Have you started smoking? Yeah. And I never knew I couldn't see it, and I got, I got my eyes tested once, and I, I was actually blind. I thought everybody saw it like that. And I got contact lenses, and I was like, wow, trees have leaves from 100 foot, and all this stuff. And I lay down in a park and sort of cried. It was a good experience. And then I um, wrote lots of poetry about trees and leaves. And then, then I did a concert and um, terrified me. I could see them. You know, they do this. They go. And, and all this sort of shit all. And so I took my contact lenses out on stage and I've never worn them since. I'm not, I mean, I wear prescription glasses and stuff. But I haven't seen an audience for a good 10 years. It's my secret. If I see that fucking audience out there, I fucking run! Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, for sure. I don't want to cut. That's all I want in life. Well, what do you want? Would you like to be Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, married into the Kennedy family. We're going to get cut out of two biggest movies in history. I mean, what the fuck am I in this business for? We're getting paid hey, 1.4 million pounds for this tonight. I'm getting five grand. Five fucking grand. Five grand. That'll pay my fucking champagne bill at the hotel. I don't know, but we just didn't want to be known as just that. We, yeah. we, we started as a pub band and, you know, we like to make stadiums feel I mean, like we're they're finish as a pub band. No. Wow. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> and we are tonight. Um, Hi, uh, Nick. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. Uh, I don't know. I think it, I think it must be in some ways because I think I, I was I was a friend of Andrew's. There's three brothers in the band. One of them was Andrew, and I was his friend that was sort of you know sulked around the corner, and they kind of indulged me in the beginning. And I and I Kirk was the singer, and I slowly made my way up the little pecking order, and now I just <laughs> run the show, baby. <laughs> so. We are at Wembley Arena, backstage in one of the glamorous <laughs> dressing rooms. And um, we, why we're here is because uh, Enix is doing a show here. How's the concert going, Mark? Oh, everything's going fantastic, Troy. Okay. Um, no, so Troy, you and Chrissy are going to go and sing together? Yeah, we are. We're having a babe here. Um, Ask us a deep personal question. You all wear white on stage, don't you? Yes, right down to the underwear. <laughs> well, actually, mine's got ducks on. I've got, the, I've got white ducks underwear on. on. Me too, I've got Calvin Klein. <laughs> the Michael Hutchins impersonation. You can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah come on, look. To the good bit. When you talk that certain way. <laughs> I love the look in your eyes. <laughs> when you know what love is for. <laughs> <laughs> teacher and uh, I, I, guess I can say this but he I think he was had a bit of a drinking problem I remember, I remember it was a music teacher and I wasn't here then again yeah, I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> hello hello Michael 
going to go through your report, I think. Yeah, yeah that's right. Interest, yeah? <laughs> oh, dear. And your yeah. interests at that time were acting, athletics, right. stamp collecting. Stamp collecting. I had a bit of a problem with the photograph, I must admit. Yeah. <laughs> Rather immature, but very pleasant. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> I, I should like to ask you, can I have some, one of your fruit? Yes, would you like a couple of my plums, maybe? I should like Take home with you later. Um, Robbie, there's a bit of um, arm wrestling going on over here. Excuse me. You guys are in, currently on tour now? No, kind of. We've just been flogging. <laughs> um, flogging our, ourselves across the world. <laughs> and finally, uh, you ever get sick of doing interviews? See ya. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, Michael, please, just stay here for a bit. Oh, that was Michael Hatches kissing me. Michael. Oh, star studded here, or oh, what? It's all go. Yes, Michael, darling. Oh, isn't it great hanging out with the stars backstage? Give so. <laughs> It's Love. just great. It's so good. It was so oh. good. <laughs> so, darling, we're talking fashion. Any special design you have? Dressed by Mr. Gucci. Check the shoes. My darling MS. <laughs> we love him. We love him. <laughs> you're, such a <laughs> you're such a flirt. It's no wonder that people always want to know about your personal um, love life. Nice because, life. yeah. Yes. Does that start to annoy you? It must be. No, I'm Aquarius. I don't care. Oh, that's right. My yes. lighting sign, by the way. Gorgeous <laughs> sign. What a great match, eh? What a great match. And formed here on your MTV. Oh, yes. You heard it first on our show. The man! What? Hi, I'm Michael Hutchins. I just saved Liam for having the shit bashed out of him. Because I was going to bash the shit out of him. Oh, nice dad. camera work. I have so much gossip. He's in the bog right now. It's all over, all over. I've been thinking about this song and I can't for love the money remember the last few words of it. And I was just wondering if you could help me. It goes, I just called to say, oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I got the wrong number. I love you. Hi, this is Michael Hutchins from Access. This week, the summer first year. Hello, Michael. Hi, Welcome to Sweden. Good to be here. Yeah? Yeah. Did you fly Swedish? Um, yeah, SAS. Did you like it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> How do you feel it's being back? Uh, looking forward to the show very much. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You didn't get caught in the customs? Uh, no, I think I did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It was so We're funny. In Boston, we yeah, played so in this tiny like... club. That's bad. And the guy was going, it's too loud. <laughs> and uh, well, it's, it's too and, hot. And too much equipment. And too much equipment, right. Yeah, that's the point. I think you've faded as a sex worker. Faded as a sex worker. <laughs> what? <laughs> and you faded. Well, well, firstly, whether or not you think that's it, and then secondly, what a question. I do my best. I've always done my best not to be one, but it seems to just keep propping up. Are you serious? You tried your best not to be a sex symbol. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just myself. This is me, you know? You think I get choreographers and mirrors and manicures and look fabulous? You know? Blah! Planet keep up. God, there's nobody out there. <laughs>